Hero. Always a word they tried to hang on me. Never a word I was comfortable with. At least now I understand Hero. I remember the first time I was called Hero. So begins Arthur Curry's recollection of the epic journey that led him to become the mythical superhero we know as Aquaman. He is unquestionably one of the greatest heroes the world has ever seen, but his rise to power was not easy. Hi everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, a very special epic edition of A Week in Geekdom. I am your host, Jermaine Menendez, and in honor of 2018 and the fact that we are getting a live action motion picture of my favorite DC superhero, Aquaman himself, Arthur Curry, I am celebrating all year long with Aquaman videos. Starting from this video to uh, the movie's release, I will be doing multiple videos, sometimes one or two a month, I don't know. But trust me, there will be a lot of content regarding the King of Atlantis. I will be reviewing uh, Neo 52 stuff, Rebirth, I will do videos on the character's backstory, why I like the character so much, my top Aquaman stories, yada yada yada, eventually I will do the movie review, spoiler movie reviews, all that stuff. I love the character, and hopefully you guys are excited for the character of Aquaman, and today, as you read in the description title, or the title of this book, we're doing a video on Peter David's Aquaman run from the 90s, one of the definitive editions of The King of Atlantis. I cannot recommend this book enough. If you want a cool, badass story, continuity free, because you can pretty much understand everything from the get-go, I highly recommend Peter David's Aquaman. He did the impossible. He took a character that had been chastised and made fun of thanks to silly cartoons and made him into an utter epic badass. First with the Time and Tide trade series that was like four issues and then began his epic run of Atlantis Chronicles and the Aquaman run itself. Uh, now if you read the Atlantis Chronicles you're gonna have a much cooler time uh, when you start reading uh, this collection right here which is you know it's being reprinted for the very first time because as you know the character has virtually no uh, deluxe hardcovers or none of that stuff which sucks if you're on social media and you can use the hashtag omnibus for aquaman i would appreciate it because come on man he needs it at this point uh so yeah uh long story short peter david did the impossible he took a character that was laughed at and made him a badass and made him relevant cool and just perfect for everybody to uh dive into no pun intended one of the aspects that i really commend peter for doing is the fact that he took this character with this awesome set of superpowers and just basically did something i was not aware of until i read his um uh, little uh, intro at the beginning of the trade where he's like this is a character that's basically the uh tarzan of the ocean I hadn't thought of it like that and it makes total sense a lot of people are like oh Tarzan's so badass because he does this and that and he's super strong and all that stuff but with Aquaman you get fans that uh, make fun of the character because he's underwater and talks to uh, fish and all that stuff why wouldn't you why would you make fun of that why I mean who wouldn't want to swim the vast oceans and see all the wonderful awesome creatures that are down below that is badass and withstanding all the pressures from uh the ocean death bulletproof uh he can survive a, a, a gunfight or uh, uh knives and swords and all that stuff and he packs quite a punch the character's awesome anyways peter david's run uh reinvents the wheel sort of and brings you a new origin not too different than what was done with the golden and silver age and all that stuff but still presents a new uh introduction for the character and you get to see the, his origins now if you want to read the origin of atlantis itself you got to pick up the atlantis chronicles read that book so when you start time and tide it 
flows right into that perfectly because of course Peter David did the Chronicles first and it is just a seamless transition that I really dug the hell out of and Peter of course writes a very troubled character that is trying to find his way in the world he you know he's you're going on this journey with him and he's telling you all the different things that he has had to uh, accomplish or, or, or do and you get to see like his first romance you get to see his ongoing feud with Ocean Master Orm himself and you get new origins for uh, several of these characters. Peter did a very interesting thing by mixing um, mythology, folklore and all that stuff to weave a story about a character that's of both worlds. He's from Atlantis and he's from the surface world and it's a character that has this very intense inner battle of trying to figure out which side he belongs to and what he what his true purpose in life is does he respond to the aquatic or does he respond to the surface dwellers that is some of the stuff that you can find in this book the art in it is fantastic super 90s in an awesome way the characters are buffed out they look uh like freaking greek gods everybody from the females to all the males in the book it really impresses stuff if you like 90s art you are in for a treat i know uh subsequent volumes got a lot better but it's it's uh pretty cool to see now my one complaint is the transition between time and tide which you get sort of four ba uh, flashback stories of aquaman and they look cartoony and then you go into the run itself the first issue uh, issue zero and the art is like super grim and gritty even though the character is blonde and you get really bright colors he's drawn very uh gritty in a dark and somber tone underwater so it's a little bit uh shocking because you can see right here with this art style and then it transitions into this type of art style that is very emblematic of the time and looks right for aquaman because you got to understand that the character was going through the, like this renaissance nobody gave the character a shot and people were not reading the book so peter took a gamble and rewrote the whole book he completely deviated from what was the norm of the character's look and uh come and with the book comes the infamous hook hand and you get to find out in the very first trade why he has the hook hand and all that stuff it's just really fun the storylines are action-packed and actually they do withstand the test of time they don't feel dated at all and it could easily be be uh, happening in this day and age and you get some uh cool character cameos like flash and superboy from the 90s and all that stuff uh, I just I just recommend it man it's awesome the book also reintroduces Garth uh, Aqualad if you will and their dynamic is a little bit different because uh, Arthur has become a little bit more cynical he's no longer the monarch of Atlantis and he's a recluse in his aqua cave if you will probably one of the weaknesses is the fact that the book is kind of 90 ish so the style and writing uh, will differ from modern interpretations of the character or modern comic books I, I should say but still peter david to me provided the ultimate template for this character that anybody could jump into and have fun and get a cool badass aquaman story and i remember when we first saw a picture of the awesome jason momoa as aquaman a lot of people were like oh that's not aquaman i'm like hell yeah that is that's peter david aquaman right there it is that awesome so if you are willing to give it a shot i promise you you will have a very cool fun time with a character exploring the oceans having swashbuckling awesome adventures and getting into fights with these crazy enemies uh that range from the mortal to the supernatural to the alien uh element from uh new gods territory i'll just say that much but yeah it's a solid book and i wish a lot more people would buy into it because there aren't a lot of uh collected editions for the character and it kind of you know you want more people to get these books so they'll keep printing more and more so if you want to try it out you got nothing to lose you're getting a solid material from one of the best writers peter david's uh synonymous with greatness all of his work at marvel and, and dc and all that stuff just really awesome stuff that i hope you can check out 
because it is worth your time in my opinion. And guys, as always, you can like, comment, and subscribe to We Can Geek Them. And I thank you uh, for being with me on this journey. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, every single one of you. I love you guys. And uh, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform so we can keep the conversation going. Just type a We Can Geek Them and I'm there for you guys. All right, I have got to go. We've got more stuff to read, review, and geek out over. So I will catch you on our next aquatic book adventure. He's nearly indestructible, I should say. Skin proof, uh, skin proof.